Hi again, everyone. Let's look at the following problem from vector calculus. Here we're given a vector field and we're asked to calculate the curl of that vector field. Okay, well the curl is one of the basic operations from vector calculus. Now loosely speaking, the curl has to do with rotations. I'll talk a little bit more about that at the end, but um, essentially this video is just about the basic idea of taking the curl of a, of a vector field. Now, by definition, the curl of a vector field is just the cross product of this symbolic vector with the vector field. Now this symbolic vector is known as the, uh, the del operator. Okay. Now if I write this all as a determinant, this symbolic vector is just ddx, ddy, ddz, and the components of my vector field f are just written in the bottom row. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is expand this and that will give me the curl. Okay, so to expand this, I expand along the top row and I start at I. I cover up the row and column that I is in and multiply by the determinant of what's left. Okay, so if I do that, I'll get the following. Now notice we're not multiplying here. These ddy, ddz are operating on these expressions. Okay? So let's move over to the j now. j is in the middle column and the top row, so I cover up and then multiply by the determinant of what's left. Now don't forget the minus sign here. A lot of people forget the minus sign on the j. So that's going to be something like ddx of x squared y minus ddz of 1 plus z squared. Okay, finally we get over to the k. k is in, in this row and this column, and I multiply by what is the determinant of what's left. Okay, so that's going to be something like uh, ddx of xy minus ddy of 1 plus z squared. Okay, so now it's just a matter of cleaning up uh, the individual bits and then writing out the final answer. So here we're going to have, uh, this is going to go to x squared, this is going to go to zero. In here, uh, we're going to get something like 2xy. minus 2z j and then finally over here we're going to get something like um, just y okay so so this is our answer now note that the curl is also a vector field okay and uh, loosely speaking, the curl uh, evaluated at a point, it measures the tendency of the vector field to swirl around that point. Okay, so for example, if the uh, vector field was a velocity field of a fluid and you took the curl at a point and you had a non-zero curl at, that, at, at a point, then there would be some tendency for that fluid to rotate or swirl around uh, that point.